I want to thank Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. Today I am making the best stir fry in the world. Check it out. Today I'm going to show you how I learned how to make the king of all stirred fry. It is easy to do but it tastes amazing and by the end of this video you'll be able to master it just like I did. There are many different ways that restaurants make this amazing dish. Its real name is called Lomo Saltado and it is a Peruvian dish. Lomo means beef tenderloin and saltado means stir fry. Regardless of how many different restaurants make them, the basic ingredients are always the same. There's always beef, tomatoes and onions. And almost every time it also has french fries. Since different restaurants has different takes on it, they also add additional ingredients. But the taste of the sauce is almost identical to every single one of them. And all the sauce is is meat juices mixed with soy sauce. And one of my favorite things to do is dunk into them and eat it up. The dish was influenced by Chinese that came to Peru. Since they brought the fried rice, Peruvian mixed all the flavors and make it their own. And today I'm gonna share with you how I make my own, so let's do it! This is a whole beef tenderloin. We have the head and the tip. The very center cut is the most prestige and we call it Chateaubriand. Now there are many other uses for Chateaubriand. You don't want to use this for Lomo Saltado. Use Chateaubriand for beef wellington or just pan searing and butter and you will be incredible. This is the head and the tip. The first thing we want to do is to chop them up in small pieces. The only thing you're looking for is to keep them in the same size. That way they will cook evenly and brown nicely. I like to make long strips. Now lomo saltado is a stirred fry. So after chopping it up, just put it on a bowl and leave it ready. You don't want to season it now. We're going to be seasoning everything as it's stir fry. Traditionally lomo saltado comes with french fries. And for my french fries are pretty simple. I basically add a little bit of gugga rub and add them to the oven until they were cooked perfectly to my liking. When stir frying, it is important to have all the ingredients ready. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always in the description down below. We start off with serrano chili, parsley, fresh garlic, red onions, yellow bell peppers, green onions, tomatoes, and our beef tenderloin. For the yellow bell peppers, you want to chop them julienne style. The garlic needs to be as minced as possible. The serrano chili as well, chop them real fine. And the same thing with the parsley. The red onions, cut them julienne style. You don't want them too thin. as when they are cooking down, they will shrink. For the green onions, keep them large. It is the traditional way. For the tomatoes, it is important to cut this way. If you cut them too small, they'll just basically become tomato soup. Don't forget to add the tomatoes only in the end. To go along with our lomo saltado, I also made some very simple sticky rice. I have shown how to make this rice before on my channel, and I'll make sure to link it below so that you can do the same. In order to keep the rice hot, I learned the trick by putting them in these containers. They won't dry out and they'll stay hot for quite some time. But now that we have everything ready, it is time to make lomo saltado. The most important thing is make sure you have a very hot pan. I'll be using the disco, but you can also use a cast iron skillet, just make sure it's hot. But now I say it is enough talking and it is time to cook it, so let's do it. Before we start this amazing stir fry, I want to quickly take time to talk about our sponsors. I know you heard about Raid, they're literally everywhere, but there's a good reason for it. Raid is one of the top three ranked RPGs on Google Play Store, and it's just been nominated as a finalist for Google Play's Best of 2019's User's Choice Award. The game is crazy popular with almost 15 million downloads in the last six months. So what's Raid? It's an epic dark fantasy done right. A hero collection turn-based game with over 400 champions for you to collect and customize. You can assemble a team from 16 heroic factions, explore over 1 million champion builds, and raid with your friends in a clan. And the best part of all? It is is free to play. Some of the cool features in the game includes a multi-battle auto mode, where you can set battles to run automatically, and it also has weekly tournaments and events. Whether it's fighting in the arena, running special dungeons, or just leveling up your heroes, there's always a way to compete and win extra prizes every week. Check out this cool roadmap that they've published. They actually have huge plans for updates in the game for over six months. So there's infinite content for you to enjoy and there's no time to get bored. A new faction, a tag team arena feature, and even a new clan boss you'll be able to fight with your clan mates. You can find me in the game under the nick SV everything. And if you are quick enough, you can also join my clan. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description and you will get 50,000 silver and a free epic champion as part of your new player program to start your journey. Once again, Ray, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Guys, I hope to see you there, but now it is time to make that amazing stir fry. So let's do it.
there we have it this is my version of the lomo saltado angel asked me for it he's been wanting it for a while isn't it <laughs> looks good it looks amazing <laughs> guys this is my version it might not be a hundred percent authentic but it's my version and it's something easy fast and quicker to use i mean quicker to use no quicker to do <laughs> quicker to make yeah it's very easy to make this little juice here everybody that comes in a little bit of the meat juice soy sauce and everything combined together is just out of this I'm world okay with that. i know I'm you okay want some that. other juice oh yeah come on in a lot of people in peru they mix all the fries together with the stir fry and uh, some do and some don't Oh, we got the police. The police want some, Angel. <laughs> we got to give some to the police. They're I know. People, we got to give it to the officers, man. But anyway, so in Peru, they do put it together sometimes and they mix it and sometimes they don't. But I decided not to mix it because I feel like the, you know, the potatoes, they get a little soggy when you mix it with the juice. And, oh, yeah. I, and I like them crunchy. A little bit of everything. Cheers, Cheers everybody. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's good. <laughs> Come mm -hmm. on, man. This is delicious all the way to the top. Like, extreme to the top. Wow. Oh, man, that's good. The combination of flavors with the meat, all the, even the, are you digging the veggies, Angel? You digging I'll everything? <laughs> I don't even know if I got some, but if I did, I like This is next level stir fried, everybody. I'm telling you right now. You have to give this a try. If you don't have tenderloin available, you can use something else. Try to use a nice tender cut. Whatever one you could afford at the time, use it. The bell peppers give it like that taste. That bell pepper taste, that like sweet kind of taste, I guess you could say. And then the soy sauce. Brings it all it brings together. Brings it all together, man. Mm -hmm. the, oh my goodness, bro. I can't even talk about it. <laughs> The sauce is basically the meat juices, everybody. Combination with everything else together. It is amazing, this little sauce. That's what the Lomo Saltado is known for. The combinations with the tomatoes and the peppers all together. It's a little spicy, savory. At the same time, it has a very unique flavor because I'm stir frying everything extremely hot. You don't want it to steam it. The secret is to get something really, really hot. If you don't have a powerful stove, then I recommend that you do it in batches. That way you don't want to let your meat steam. Because if your meat steam, you won't have the same effect. Because it has like a nice crust and char, and the middle is super tender, extremely juicy. That's what a good stir fry is. And when you're cutting it, don't cut it too thin. If you cut it too small, it's just going to be dry. This is amazing. I agree, 100%. I haven't had a good one like this in a while. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. I'm, I am in shock. Good job. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. You got to cheer out. You got to fill it out because you got to go to the gym, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you got to be on a you not gotta, full stomach, but you got to have something in your stomach. You got to get gains, man. I know. The gains are important. The gains are important. <laughs> the gains are important. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is my version of Lomo Saltado. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Peruvians, thank you so much for making this dish happen. Oh, yes. Yes. Thank you. Big shout out to all the Peruvians. If you are a Peruvian, and if you would have done anything differently, comment down below. I'd love to hear from you, because you guys have an amazing cuisine. Thanks for watching, guys. Take oh, yeah. care. Bye-bye.